right, we are back. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Happy Thursday. Thank you, Freddy. Welcome into Puff City. File on in. We've got a few quick races kicking off. Don't miss the picks. I tried to get on a little... Tried to get on in time for there to be picks spoken about and still be able to be made. There, There's a, a really nice amount of pick juice on here. We've got the same pick juice that we would see on... Uh, On the making the grades. Also, I I spoke to Sangudo after the stream yesterday, and uh, I was pretty downtrod during the stream. I feel I feel much better now. I'm excited. I'm I'm a little excited for next season. I'm a little excited. I can't say shit, Freddie. I know. Shut up. I can't say shit, but they will. And when they do, making the grade will continue. <laughs> It'll continue nicely, I think so. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Welcome on in. Those of you who are new may be wondering what's going on here. Honestly, I, I don't really know. But there's one thing that we like to say here, and that is no matter how your day is going, no matter how good or bad, whatever you do, ladies and gentlemen, just keep tapping. Coming to you live from the SS Keep Tapping. Freddie, how we doing? We're feeling good beautiful get on in here file on in ladies and gentlemen a lot of space all you need to do is follow the stream following the stream gets you access primo to the one and only puff lounge here great spot to pull out your phone get on the photo finish app that's going to be coming out get some races in sounds nice doesn't it freddy welcome on into the stream new stables green tick racing hola those of you who are not new, who are coming in for the picks, thank you for coming in. Hope you're having a great Thursday. Green Tick, que paso? Nada mucho. Mi día es, uh, it, it's just going. It's fast. The man, the myth, the legend, Prox. Yo, what's going on, Prox? Welcome into the stream. Nice to have you there. Welcome on in. Hello, hello. Prox. I, yo, I realized like yesterday or the day before you sent me a friend's request on Discord. I did I did uh, accept that. Well, let me fix my camera real quick. There we go. <laughs> Nobody saw that, okay? Everything is perfect. <laughs> Freddy! Bro, oh yeah, that's right. Ads right now. Good call. Good call. Yeah, ads are going. Ad in progress. Yeah, you're. Yeah, I can't. Yep, you're right. You know what? I'll run. I'll run one of my own. How about that? How about that? I'll just. I'll just pile on. I'll pile on. Oh, hi there. Welcome. Have you had a tough week? Is work getting you down? Does the guy next to you smell bad? It's your boss an asshole. Well, guess what? You can forget about all Thank that. Thank God I already did the rookie round. The S could dominate. Yeah, I saw that in the first Sit race. Down. Hit that follow button and get ready for Taco and the one and only Puff City, baby. Here we go. Thank you, Taco. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Ready? Let's not expose the secret behind the stream yet, okay? Let's keep that clip for later. I don't know if people are ready for the for the Wolf of Wall Street clip yet, okay? <laughs> let's not let's let's keep it let's keep it calm, okay, Freddy? Anybody know what I'm thinking of right there? Okay, the ads should be ads should be done. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Prox. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome on in to the one and only Puff Theater. You've got some picks still available on the first race there. Another five minutes. 
I, I've got bad news for everybody who thought that they were getting better at photo finish. One of the one of the best 3.0 web players I know is in this first race, and I'm not talking like oh they're good at Zed or oh they're good at they're good at fucking everything. <laughs> Catch me right in Derby, in the house. Everybody run for cover. Everybody run for cover. And he names his horse New Event. Of course. Uh, of course. A new event. Uh, let me let me uh, let me connect the dots for those of you that don't understand why that has significance. So over here, we've got main event, right? Okay, that's that's the wrong horse. I'd actually name that horse. <laughs> what is this thing called? It's main 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 right i can't even remember the name of the horse is this it yeah okay so this horse damn dan chan is skimping now you can't see shit used to be able to see all this he's making people pay but basically let me explain this to you 405 win 1405 wins okay there we go 1405 wins okay this is catch me right in derby's horse catch me right in derby says farewell this is his horse six one Single Z horse, the the single horse in Z with the most wins of any horse in the game. This horse has the most wins of the hundreds of thousands of Z horses that exist. This one has the most. I know because I have one of the horses in the top hundred, and that fucker has like 700 wins. <laughs> this has double. 6.58 profit, and it's named Main Event. So what does he do? He comes over to Oh, hold on. Good call, Freddy. Turn the music down. The music is uh, intro level. Let me fix that. Let me fix the music really quick. Okay. Yeah, the first race definitely looks like the S. Like, it's hard to think anything else has a chance, which is why I'm just going into story time. And so over here, we've got a new event, right? Right Dirt Firm. It's, it's going to be the horse he got from um, Poseidon, I would guess. Right? Dark Star Ranch, yeah. Boss Stable, Boss Stable. This is a cyberpunk breed, though. Huh, I don't know where it came from. But anyways, it ended up with him. And he names it New Event. I don't think New Event is going to quite, quite be as good as Main Event. But it is there. It is there and it is trying. Picks close in two minutes. A lot of the juice is on the S. One more... One more Cosmo getting a little love there. I think there are S's in both of these races. There are. I think S's, guys, S's are just a lot more common. I mean, you can go buy an S right now for 3K, 4K. They're just way more common. I actually saw this horse in the past, too, this Florida Zoom horse. Two S's here. 67, though, fleet here. So this with a 70 here. So this with a good run has got a chance. S minuses can be really similar to S's because if you get a bad S and a good S minus, the S minus beats the S. Shoot, a good S minus will beat an average S a lot of the time because that S minus will have like an S plus stat and the average S just has like an S. I'm pretty sure I've seen this horse before. This horse got claimed, right? No, it's just flat out sold. Four grand. Four grand uh, for a three-year-old. Yeah, they and you can tell when it was sold. So here, here's when the here's when the like veteran player sells it, and then you have the the new player show up. Stop racing it. But that you kind of learn that as you go. Some horses fleets decrease at four, some some gain. When you see this type of movement, it either means you have a temper thing or you're just racing it on much different distances and preferences. Picks are in S dominant, hoping for Florida Zoom since I haven't seen it in claimers. Yeah, I also I also noticed there that it was not in claimers. Sunnyvale Kid Stables, ha. Ha. Ha there. Ha. 
ha. We got any other ha's? We got any other? Sorry, I just I I know what you meant. I just was, you know, I it was a good opportunity. You know, it was a door, and you know, I just kind of saw the door and was like, oh, you can. I nailed it. <laughs> you want to know what I was thinking of when you actually said that? Sloth in like ha. I just I could probably just say sloth ha ha. I was thinking of that. Zootopia. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. When he goes ha ha ha. Anybody? <laughs> okay, just me. All right. Freddy, just delete that. Okay, just take that out. I know I like to think I'm Try, you, I tried. Thanks, Freddy. Thanks. I tried. All right. Picks are in on the first. 1.6 was the juice. So it looks like we've got about 2K on three. The four got faded, completely faded. Uh, 600 on the two. And like three and a half K on the one. Best part, of, best part of the movie. Dude, yeah. that's It sure has lived a long time, right? It's just... It has continued. It has it has continued quite well, I must say. So shout out to the new stables here in this first race. Catch me riding Derby and no, the the old juicer. Not not a new stable here, but really not a new name. A lot of people in this game are gonna know him too. Um, Vegas Lights RC, welcome in. Ballmain Breeders, welcome in. Mac Daddy Racing, welcome on in. It's all good, yeah, Hasa. Uh, what's up, Graham? Bad Crockett in the house. Welcome on in, Graham Daddy. Yo, Graham Daddy, thank you for coming back in. Appreciate all your support, chilling on the streams, oh man. We got a, we got a Twitch viewer. Just do you just watch Twitch anyway? You're like me, huh? Just on Twitch anyway, playing games. That's a W. Nah, oh, just for okay. All right, that's a W then. That's a W. I just say that, Chai. He's, he's been in like the last five streams. Six streams. He's just always in them. I appreciate it, man. It means a lot. If I have a giveaway, I'll make sure to rig it for you. I got you. <laughs> Freddy, did I say that? Can we take that out? Can we hit the dump? It's too late. Can't dump it. Secret's out. Bruh. Secrets out. There it goes. Rip Taco. <laughs> did they cancel three and four? Yeah, three and four did not. Uh, I think three and four got moved into one and two, or they just got canceled. I actually was wondering if what we should do is make it like a two month thing where you have. You take like two month worth of new people and then you have the races from there because we'd see like more full races. And then the actual response was no, we like four, five, and six horse races. Well, number one, you guys actually like it because of the way that you gamble on it. That you, you do picks. Um, and number two, way more crown. Way more crown for the people who are in it. So, nothing wrong with that. The crown's stimmy. Party Boy 099. What's going on, Party Boy 099? Welcome on into the stream, man. Hey, guys, right on Stride Racing here. I still got my horse from last year's Rookie Rally, and he's doing nice things for me. His name is Wise Guy. I, uh. Are you. Oh, you don't mean last year. You mean last month. You mean last month, because Wise Guy is in, is in the video. He's in the video I made. Welcome back in, Party Boy. Hello, hello. Nice to have you there. Yeah, last, yep. Yeah, I know what you meant. Because he was in the video I just made. The, like, one of the first races or second race. Welcome in there, Party Boy. Nice to have you back. Welcome on in, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to file on in here. We've got we've got plenty of space inside the theater here. we got the popcorn popping. Freddie, you got no popcorn today? Nope, nope. We're out of popcorn. Okay. You know what? we got ice water. It's hot as hell. Get yourself a nice cold ice water. Sit on down in the theater here. we got some races coming. Picks are in on the first one. The old juicer catch me riding derby. Looking good. 
and then on the second let me flip over here we, I think I, I think I actually have the second here and then I have the first there okay that, that kind of works and then in the second here it's looking like altered mythology or Florida zoom there's still actually 10 minutes on the picks here I did try to turn the stream on way early so that I could chill we you know no Russian we're, we're all we're just chilling I mean and there's also no Russian that's that's funny and I tried to say no rushing, and I said no rushing. I mooned a lane. Yeah, I remember that. I mooned a lane went coast to coast. And then the name I mooned a lane. Fun fact, my dad's girlfriend name is Elaine. So that's like, that was messing with my head. That's my little brother's horse, number two. Duncan, my Adidas, which number two are altered? You're talking about altered mythology, I guess. You're probably going to mention the S, not the A+. And then for the for folks who are new to photo finish, if you're new, if you're like just starting, right, you're here. If I could teach you one thing, right, because we're, this is a rookie rally. So we've got people who are in their first month or second month or third month just beginning the game, you know, second month racing maybe at the most if i can if i can impart one thing on to you about the game okay and i i want and and you will find that if you ask any big stable hey is what this guy said accurate they're gonna say hell yeah that's great advice and if they don't don't listen to them find somebody else ask them for help <laughs> find somebody who agrees with it but basically what I want to say is if you look at this race here, right? So these this top one is is the betting one. So like uh here, let me change actually. Let me just let me just zoom it up. Let me zoom it up. Okay. So you have your odds on top. This is the money line odd. So or not the money line. This is like the odds of action. So like people who, the action that's actually been put on the horses in the race, the picks that have been made forms the top odd, like this one here. So you can see humans that have put money on the race or picks on the race, they think it's gonna be number two. The thing I wanna teach you, the thing I wanna impart, the one thing I wanna teach you is, and if you guys already play this, you can just ignore it. There's this number on the bottom and it's called the money line. Okay, it's gonna be on every race that you play. And especially when you have like your own horse and you put that horse into a race, right? So you put you get you get your horse, you're excited about it, it's a great, you know, great breed, whatever. You put it in a race like like this, okay? This is exactly what you're gonna do. You're gonna you're gonna go in a maiden like this, you're gonna put your horse in, okay? I want I really want to enter I really want to show you one thing. This money line right here, okay? When you when you begin the game, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to completely ignore it. I want you to completely ignore this number. I don't give a fuck what it says, how low it is, how high. I want you to ignore it, okay? If you listen to this number, you will lose money. Period. You, you will lose your butthole. You will lose it quickly. The thing that I want you to think about when you go into a race, and number one, as the season goes on, pay attention to who you're racing so you can so you can keep an eye on their fleet figures. But what I want you to pay attention to is just the fleet figure of the horse. Go to the fleet figures here, you know, figure out, you know, the condition that's better, or I guess that's not the right pull down, but you know what I'm saying? You know, clearly this one's soft, sloppy, you know, maybe yielding, but really it likes soft, right? Get it in that specific race. It I just found out it actually likes nine more than ten, so I actually am learning right now. It just ran its highest fleet. But this is the only thing I think is a new person you should be paying attention to is the fleet figure. The fleet figure is going to point you in the right direction. And it will tell you if you run like a four or a, like if you run like a four or five furlong and then run like a seven furlong and then like eight or nine and 12. If you have a great ML, get those four distances in. One of them is going to show you that you have a good fleet figure and you know that you can race that. Something, sometimes what will happen 
is you will have a horse that you're really excited about. Let me show you what I'm thinking of. I was really excited about this horse. I'm in denial with this horse right now. So this is a great, great bloodline. Just fantastic, simple blood moon kid, you know, from not for sale, not for sale is a very popular stud. Really excited about the horse, right? It's an A+. Plus. A good A+, plus fleet figure is like 70, right? 72. Um, race taco. Okay. I would I would forget the race. Okay, let me go over to the race. Don't don't open on your computers. Okay, just keep it closed. Everything's okay. How did I miss the start of the race? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. That's the most taco thing ever. I didn't even get to my point. How did I? <laughs> what did what did I just say for five minutes? Anyways, ignore the money line completely. Pay attention to the fleet figures. Pay attention to the condition, like soft, sloppy, firm, and fleet figure. Ladies and gentlemen, we are off 12 furlong race here. We're going to be sitting down for about two minutes or so. Out in front, out of the gate, is ducking my Adidas. I'm just happy to say the name during the race. Coming out of the gate in a pack of three is going to be Magatron, one more Cosmo, and new event. Like I said, though, 12 furlong race, so buckle up. Buckle on up, ladies and gentlemen. Interesting to see here that the the actual like so so the way that I would derive the money line in this race like one more Cosmo is 3.3 and Duck in My Adidas is 3.4. It makes me think that the one more Cosmo is probably like an average S minus an A plus and then the Duck in My Adidas is probably like a plus stat A plus maybe like you know two plus stats something like that. Magatron being more of like an even one. That's the only thing I would derive from it. But you don't use that number to actually think your horse is better or worse in the race. Just use the fleet figures. Trust me. Trust me on that. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. Hamo the Great Race Running. Thank you for letting me know, by the way. What did I tell you guys? What, that I'd forget that shit? Yep. If you said that, you were right. Coming down the, the front stretch for the first time here, about halfway through. Magatron is actually going to be taking the lead here. Ducking my Adidas has fallen back into third. One more Cosmo Steady in second. On the inside right now, ducking my Adidas. A new event hanging out in the back. New event, if you'll remember, is the S horse, is the favorite in the race. We do have yielding conditions on the track. We've got two soft horses and two firm horses. One more Cosmo and Magatron being the soft. <laughs> and we are on a yielding track. This is always a fun conversation of soft or firm. Most people will argue that the, fir the, the firm horses in general are better statted, especially on dirt. Here we go, though. Right down the middle is going to be ducking my Adidas as we approach the last turn. Looking pretty solid. New event starting to approach, though. New event has started to move up. It has passed Magatron. It has passed one more Cosmo. But it is still hanging out behind ducking my Adidas. As I mentioned, ducking my Adidas is likely a plus stat A. That means that it could be rocking an S stat. Ducking my Adidas seriously could be rocking an S stat in that race. And the other thing to note, too, is you've got a right turf firm versus the right dirt firm, ladies and gentlemen. you got to remember that that's going to knock off a few fleet figures. And there it is, ducking my Adidas, showing you how it's done, ladies and gentlemen, for ball main breeders. But more than the purse of the race there, which actually is quite nice, 12K for the four horses. So 7800 Derby, almost $100. Going to the unexpected A+. plus. There was some juice on there. So whoever sprinkled is going to be very, very happy, I must say. Ladies and gentlemen, the ball main breeders coming in and coming in hot. Feeling good, looking good. 7,800 Derby. Ball main breeders, come on down. You are the next winner. On the rookie rally. Freddie, write that one down. It's going to be a quick video next month. There's only two races. It's going to be easy. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't even think to talk about that, but you have three turf horses in the race and one dirt. I, whew. And if you look at the fleet figures, the best turf fleet figure is the horse that won, 63, 62, 61, right? So even ignoring grades, right? Fleet figures. Uh, the fleet figure actually says this is the best. This is the best horse on turf in the race. That's, that's kind of crazy. 
And then the thing about the S is the S is a dirt horse, right? So the way that I factor this is you knock off at least 5 because it's on the wrong thing. So it's, instead of 70, we're saying 65. Next thing we'd have to do is look at what it actually races, right? So it does have a win. What did it win? It won 11, and it came in second at 11. So it actually is long. So it does like the distance. So I would peg it for like a 64, 63 to like a 67 fleet figure. So actually, if we... Do we have the results yet? We do. So 61. So it even went low. And then what you're going to do when you go over here, this thing runs 63. You're probably going to see that it ran like a 64. And then what I've learned is that 66. So this is probably one of its highest fleet figures. And what it tells me, going into a stakes race like this, like this is a horse where heart matters. This horse probably has good heart, and then it's got a great stat roll. Wow, this thing has an this thing had an insane stat roll. If this is actually a plus stat at A plus, that's pretty wild. And it just won a 12. It won a 12 with an A minus and an A plus, which means this could have rolled up to like an S minus high level. Or it's just a good A plus. High A plus would run like 64, 65 fleet. Like a high S minus would run like a 78, 79 fleet. So it's definitely not an S minus. But it may have just pulled that A plus straight away. Big win though. Big win. Gonna go back positive. 7,800 going back plus 1,900. And then the nice thing about these races, as I was mentioning a second ago, um, let me not misspeak. 62 crown. 62 crown to each person in that race. So that that will pay at least your first stakes race next season. Okay. At <laughs> least that'll pay at least one. <laughs> I'm kidding. They're they're actually well they are what are they, twenty bucks now? Off preference, but he still got paid. Yeah, that's true. New event does come in second there, does get paid. Congratulations there to catch me riding Derby. He definitely does not need the Derby. But he's got he, he took the dub. All right, how far are we? Let me keep an eye on this, actually, so that I don't... Uh, okay, picks are closed here. I appreciate everybody coming in as well. Welcome into the stream. So, yeah, anyways, I, I think you guys understood what I was saying there, right? Those of you that are new, ignore this money line completely. It doesn't exist. Pay attention to the fleet figures at the distance and on the preference. So... Not necessarily even this one. Like, look at the actual horse. Look at the fleets. And then what you would have actually seen on that A+, plus, if you looked at the distance fleets, they were at, there was actually like a 70-something like something in there. There was a 66 earlier. Um, yeah, there's quite a few. We're all rooting for the number one horse, the A+. Plus. I mean, if, if we're doing that, we got to root for the A, right? Gangsters are racing. Welcome in West Coast Stables, Soy Cowboy, Corral, Dunn and Dusted, Interstellar Racing, Run Wild Stables, 202 Stables, and Magical Palace. Can you look up Wise Guy for me, Taco, and give me your opinion on if his fleet figures make him an average S? I was thinking about trying him in a grade threes next season, but I think he's not quite good enough. If you want to try a grade three, you're going to want to see 80. You got to see 80 somewhere. If if you're not seeing 79, 78 every race or 80, nope. It could even it could also be an S minus too. You can you can see 80s from S minuses. Ted's got a few of those. Ted Racing. I I I know I found I un, unintentionally looked at one of those yesterday and it had like an 82 or three fleet. Is he winning though too? Here let me. I guess I can take a look. Let me let me jump over. <clears throat> good name it's a good name it's a good name i mean the first thing that jumps out to me it doesn't win enough like you're you're just not winning enough to begin with to even think about that there's no way the horse is profitable so the answer is just no straight off the bat from me as somebody who doesn't ride my my I have three months of experience. So before I look at anything else, I would look at that, and then I'd look at the heart of the breed. Uh, 
which would be tied other than start for one of the lowest potential stats on the horse. This is also another Z horse. That's kind of funny. Yeah, that's tough. I don't I don't think I mean, are we improving here? What are we seeing here? Claiming, claiming, claiming. Yeah, no, no, definitely you can't. No way. No way. Because the minute you look at a stakes race, it's going to be, yeah, 8, 4, 11. Yeah, you have no heart. That's why you're winning claimings. That's why you're doing well in claimings. Just keeping the claimers. The thing the thing that I would definitely say is you need to be more aggressive with the claimers. Although it's, it's good to see it winning a 20. But you could probably race more of these fives and not get claimed. You know, you, you probably would win a lot of 10 and 15 and 20 claimers. You could probably just hammer those and you'll maximize your profits. I really think it, it looks like a fun horse to race. It looks like if you got it dialed, I really think you just keep on with the claimers. And then the thing that's really nice about this horse is uh, these races are going to keep popping off. You're going to be able to race every couple of days. You're going to have something to watch. Somebody might claim it. You make a little money. I think I think I'd be too afraid to to go into a uh, a heart a race that would really want some heart. Taco with that ducking horse, should I retire and try to see stats to breed strong twelve furlongs or continue to race next season? Duncan my Adidas, I definitely wouldn't. Uh, straight off the bat, I wouldn't retire it unless it's like five or six years old. Yeah, no way. So so ten like five or six months ago, people would have said yes, retire it, breed it. Um, but if you've got a horse, let me, let me take a closer look. If you've got a horse that's actually can race or profit racing. Um, you want to race it. I mean, it's profitable right now. It wasn't profitable coming in. Yeah, it only had six races. So you're probably kind of just figuring out how to race it. I'd say, yo, yo fusion. What's going on fusion. Thank you so much for the ocean, man. Welcome on in. I'm, I was like locked in, man. Thank you, Taco. Appreciate the thoughts. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So I think what I would do is I would probably race this in more. Um, I would I would want to race this in in the allowances, like the A to S minus, uh, 12 furlong, 11 furlong, good or fast condition. Um, that's what I would want to do. And then I would look for I would look for like 65, 67, 68 uh, in that at least. Turf horses are faster than than dirt horses. And so to give you an idea, like mine that can kind of race and like loses money, but if you look at Crown, it like kind of breaks, it kind of makes a little money because I I put it in a lot of stakes. Um, like this, you're gonna see like 66 67 and then what i'm trying to relay is that turf is faster than dirt so you got to see like 69 72 73 from like an a plus like my bad turf horse is this one right here it runs 10 furlong and it, it it's putting up like 70s 63 69 69 66 72 70 this can't race this still has. This is like a top 20 fleet figure horse for its age. Can't race. You, you got to have like a top five or ten. If there was like 10 or 12 horses in every race, maybe. Um, but it definitely can't race. Uh, smaller ones. Hamel, I picked your horse for the W. Yeah, here, wait. Let me open up number two again. We got 42 seconds to the race. It's just about to kick off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. Let me call out the new stables we got. We got Gangsters of Racing, West Coast Stables, Soy Cowboy, Corral, Dun and Dusted, Interstellar Racing, Run Wild Stables, 202 Stables, Magical Palace. Welcome into the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to have you there. And welcome into PFL. Welcome into the journey. Make sure to ask for help. Don't uh, don't rage race. Just ask for help. That's the main thing. 
don't don't just start going into races randomly have somebody who knows what they're doing help you because it takes just three or four races to figure out a horse and then from there you can juice it up all right race number two the second race of the day here coming at us quick fast and in a hurry big shout out to sangudo to pfl and the new folks coming in to the game Rookie rally number two, 10 furlong right dirt, and they are off. I'm, I'm a little surprised that the, uh, I, I have a feeling that they put the other horse in the first race so it filled, that makes sense. Down the front stretch for the first time here in this 10 furlong race, out in front is gonna be a group of Altered Mythology, Florida Zoom, and actually leading the pack is gonna be Risk, Risk Requiem, given everybody who picked on the race, a heart attack out of the gate. That'd just probably make everybody a loser. Prime Vanilli hanging out in the middle of the pack should be noted. The A-plus trying to hang. Rob Sock falling back slowly on the inside. Number two looking to finish number one on the race. In the far back is going to be Max Payne. Uh, I do quite enjoy the Max Payne game series. I don't know if anybody else has played it, but it's, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Out in front at the moment is going to be Florida Zoom. Holding it down with Prime Vanilli on the outside. Creeping up on the inside is going to be the other S, Altered Mythology. Altered Mythology is going to be your pick favorite. Florida Zoom actually has almost nothing on top of it. Number two has more, and Rob Sock have more on it. So Florida Zoom really got faded, most likely because of the lack of star preferences. As you get into the game, you'll learn that you really got to have two, two and a half plus stars to, to get a good winning horse. And a winning horse in photo finish is a 40 plus percent winner, in my opinion. So it's gonna be a little bit more than what you are expecting. On the inside, Florida Zoom though, coming out of this final term, is Florida Zoom gonna be able to hold it down? Altered Mythology with the slingshot right at the eight furlong mark, gonna be passing it to the front. Not able to pull away though, Florida Zoom hitting the baitcaster, trying to reel him in on the outside. The other betting favorite is going to be Rob Sock trying to catch up. Rob Sock is going to be passing Florida Zoom just like the pickers thought. Number two trying to catch up to the S. Come on, number two. Not quite. Altered Mythology holding it down as expected. Rob A. Sock in second and Florida Zoom coming in third. Number two almost crept into third there. Number two almost crept into third. I would have loved to have seen it. I would have loved to have seen it. West Coast Stables and Altered Mythology taking home the 6,240 Derby. Congratulations there on the win, ladies and gentlemen. Altered Mythology, congratulations on the W. West Coast Stables, welcome on in. You are the next winner here on the Rookie Rally and the second one of the day. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming out to the Rookie Rally this month. And again, as I mentioned, after the making the grade yesterday, I talked to Sangudo. I'm really excited. I'm really excited about what's coming for next season for making the great so those of you with those lower horses especially like you number two i'm talking to you that a plus keep an eye for making the grade it's going to be some really exciting news coming i can't share it but they will at some point and once they do we'll start talking about it um it's awesome stuff those of you who are new welcome into photo finish if you have any questions you can reach out to me on twitter i will eventually see my dms there and i will respond to them uh, you can always ping me in Discord if you just want like help right away or if you're just chilling. Uh, pretty much once I get off work, I'm home and available. So always happy to help. Always happy to help build. And uh, again, thank you PFL for promoting the stream. Thank you everybody for coming into the stream today. Um, you know, we have a bunch of people here. Usually we would have four races, right? So we'd have like an hour. Let's do... Uh, let me see who's on real quick. We I gotta have a buddy with like... Oh, perfect. Here we go. We got the guy who I've actually been playing with just started a stream. I've been playing all week with this dude. So let's go ahead and raid my buddy Joey. Oh, I guess I shouldn't call him buddy. New new friend. New friend. Shouldn't, shouldn't be too much. But anyways, really cool dude. If you guys could get some Dino dances ready. 
Here, wait, let me let me pump it up a little bit. Let me pump it up a little bit. My favorite tune lately. Those of you who know me, know Pedro. Let's hit the Pedro real quick, and then we'll fade it out, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming in again to the one and only Puff City. We were down here at the track. We saw some big wins. That first race was awesome. That first race is exactly what I'm talking about. Fleet figures, preferences. Pay attention to them. Ladies and gentlemen, hit the Pedros in the chat and get ready for a journey because that's exactly what P PFL is. From the one and only Puff City and the SS Keep Tapping, thank you for hanging out here today, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back here again soon. I know I've got another stream coming up next Wednesday with PFL. I will try to get some actual gaming streams in between. We will see what happens. For those of you chilling, feel free to pop up here into the Puff Lounge and hang out. We'll have some drinks flowing. And again, thank you for hanging out. If you're new, make sure to hit the follow button. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. Ladies and gentlemen, hit the Pedro. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. And, and frankly, the weekend. It's going to be here quickly. It's going to be here really quickly. All right, y'all. Let's throw the raid over. Follow me on over. Throw a Dino in the chat. Dino is this thing. If you guys are there chilling, throw a Dino dance in the chat. Thank you for chilling, ladies and gentlemen. Green Tick, Biggie Walls, Fibonacci. Who we got? Hammo, Party Boy. Yo, Party Boy, good luck with that horse wise guy, man. Let me know if you have any more questions, too. I will be around. Igram, thank you so much for the support, Igram. Always supporting, always chilling. Jay Hine. And again, VFib Stables, thank you for chilling tonight. I appreciate you guys. If I missed you, I'm sorry. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for coming out. We'll be back here again soon. And as I always like to say, whatever you do, wherever you're going, just keep tapping, my friends. Pedro! Yeah!